Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I am doing the Rip It or Ship It book tag. So this tag was created by Emma Books, and I wasn't tagged by anyone to do it, but I've seen it going around booktube lately, and I thought that it looked like a lot of fun, and I was kind of in a shippy mood today, so I decided why not film this video and do this tag. So the way that the tag works is that you write down the names of some book characters, and you put them in a cup or a jar, and then you take out two names and say whether you would ship those two characters, or whether you would rip those two characters. So I have my little H mug right here with some sticky notes inside that I wrote the characters' names on, and I'm just gonna take them out and tell you guys if I ship them or if I rip them. So let's get started. All right, mixing them up. I'm not cheating, I promise. Also just FYI, they're both males and females in here. I'm not distinguishing, cause yay for the gay. All right, so here's one. So the first character is Jacob Black from the Twilight Saga. Let's see who Jacob's gonna be shipped with. The next one, Will Herondale. No, no, definitely ripping this one. As much as I was team Jacob back when I read Twilight, Will Herondale is the love of my life and he deserves so much better than that werewolf teen boy. So no, ripping that, definitely ripping that one. My Will deserves so much more. All right, next two. First one is Annabeth from the Percy Jackson series. And then, Harry Potter from the Harry Potter series. You know, I'm actually gonna ship this one. I kind of like it. I feel like Harry and Annabeth would make like a good mix. She kind of also reminds me of Ginny, so I feel like that they would be a good match. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ship these two, Harry and Annabeth. I like it. I like that one. So the third couple is Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice and Jace Wayland from the Mortal Instruments series. I don't know, do I ship this? I mean, I don't necessarily rip it. I guess they could be good together. I mean, I love Elizabeth Bennet, and I feel like she wouldn't put up with Jace's self-destructive shit, so I feel like they'd actually be pretty good together. I feel like she would really keep Jace in line, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ship these two. That's, that's pretty good, pretty good. I like both of them, so. All right, next we have Bella Swan from the Twilight Saga with PETA from The Hunger Games. You know, I love PETA way too much to ship him with Bella, so I'm definitely gonna have to rip this one because PETA deserves more. PETA is too good for her, and yeah, I don't like Bella, so we're gonna, we're gonna rip that because love PETA and PETA deserves someone better. All right, next have Simon Lewis from the Mortal Instruments series with <laughs> Valentine Morgenstern, also from the Mortal Instruments series. Um, I'm gonna have to go with no. I'm gonna have to rip this one. Simon is just an innocent 16 year old boy who didn't ask for any of this and Valentine is terrifying. So no, definitely rip that one. Yeah, not, not happening. So next. We have Marco from The Night Circus and Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> um, I don't really ship this in a romantic way only because Marco is so much younger than Dumbledore, but I feel like Dumbledore would be like a really good mentor father figure for Marco. So I'm gonna ship this in like the, like a father-son type of relationship. I definitely ship this, but definitely not romantically because Dumbledore is too old and yeah, that, that'd just be really weird. But definitely in like a father-son type of relationship, I ship this, like that, that's a good ship. All right, next we have Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games and Percy Jackson. Um. Do I ship this? I feel like this relationship would be kind of toxic. I feel like they'd get into a lot of trouble, but at the same time, I kind of feel like they'd maybe be good together. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a while since I've read either of these books. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about these two. I think they could work. I think they could work, but I think they'd have a lot of issues. Like if they got married, they definitely have to go to some counseling because it it would it would be bad, but let's just let's just say yeah. Let's just say ship it. Sure, why not? I mean, I feel like 
they could be happy. I feel like they'd have really high highs and really low lows. Like, I feel like that's the type of relationship that these two would have. So, Percy and Katniss. Sure. Why are so many of these hetero? I want more gay ships. Okay, next. Clary Frey from the Mortal Instrument series with... <laughs> Voldemort from Harry Potter. <laughs> I just feel like it would be terrible. I feel like Voldemort is like Valentine, where it would just be like really scary for Clary. So I'm gonna say no, but for whatever reason, this is really amusing. So I'm, I'm gonna rip this one, but like, I, I kind of enjoy it. It's just entertaining. Oh, poor Clary. All right, so next we have Draco Malfoy from the Harry Potter series and Tessa from the Infernal Devices. You know what? I'm like actually going to ship this one. Disclaimer, I'm like Draco Malfoy trash. I love him. You, you might know that if you've watched some of my previous videos, but yeah, I really like him and I feel like he and Tessa could actually have a pretty good relationship. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but I'm kind of liking this one. So I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna ship these two, Draco and Tessa. Gonna, I'm gonna go with that, yes, ship that, I like it. All right, next we have Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice with <laughs> Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. You know, I actually kind of shipped this one too. I think it would be really amusing to see Luna try and make Darcy laugh and try and just do like really weird things. I think he would think that she's like really quirky and cute and I think the two of them are just kind of awkward, but I think their awkward would work together. I don't know, I, I actually really like this one. So I'm gonna go with yes, Darcy and Luna. I like it, I like these two. So next. We have Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter with Gale from The Hunger Games. Hell no. Hell no. Disclaimer, I hate Gale a lot um, and I love Neville to death. So ripping this one because Neville deserves a decent human being and Gale doesn't qualify. So no, not happening. Sorry if you like Gale, but I just, I have lots of feelings that no, just no. Never. Alright, next we have Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series. I feel like these are all Harry Potter ships, I'm sorry, but I just had more Harry Potter in here than anything else. And... Edward Cullen. Hell no! Hermione would call him out on everything that he does and his creepy stalkerish behavior? No way! Hermione deserves someone way better than Edward. No, ripping that one. Never. God. No. This tag makes me angry, but it's also entertaining. I'm sorry if I'm like hating on any characters here, but there, there's there's no way I'm letting Edward come near Hermione. Not, not if I have that power. It's never gonna happen. Next we have... Oh, that one's sticking to me. Aristotle from Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe with... Magnus Bane from The Mortal Instruments. Yes, I totally ship this. This is so great. I think they'd be like perfect for each other because I feel like Magnus is flamboyant enough that it would counter Ares' seriousness. I think they'd be really good together. Yes, definitely shipping these two, Magnus and Ares. Yes, I love that. All right, so next we have Celia from the Night Circus and Dante from Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I like these two together. I think that they would be good for each other. I, I think I think this ship would actually kind of work out. I mean, I think they'd work better as friends, but I still ship it. I think they'd be great together because I love both of them. So not gonna rip this one. These two are great. I love them. Finally, the last two are Jem from The Infernal Devices and <laughs> Severus Snape. I'm gonna have to go with no. I feel like A, Jem is too young, and B, Jem is too nice for Snape, and I feel like 
Snape would just be awful to Jem. I just feel like these two wouldn't match up very well at all, and I think they'd just make a really uncomfortable pair. So I'm gonna have to go with no. I don't, I don't think that'll work out too well. <laughs> Alright, so there you guys go. That is the Rip It or Ship It book tag. I had a lot of fun filming this video. I had some very interesting ships in there, but also some really good ones that I actually kind of like a lot, like Aerie and Magnus and Luna and Mr. Darcy. Like, I feel like they would be kind of good together. I feel like those would be cool ships. I actually enjoy those. So now I'm just gonna tag a few people. The first person I'm gonna tag is Andrea from The Uncoordinated Reader, Katie from Must Be Magic, Nicole from Girl Gone Reader, and Sophie from Portal in the Pages. I tag you guys to do this. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I just thought it'd be fun to tag a few people. And also I tag all of you guys who are watching. If you wanna do this and you make videos, go ahead and do it. You can say that I tagged you. You don't have to say that I tagged you, whatever you want, but I tag you all if you wanna do it because it's lots of fun and I really enjoyed this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye. There it is. In all its glory. Queen of Shadows. I'm so excited guys. I haven't even finished Air of Fire and I'm already so excited for this one.